right world good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching from you're welcome to at cindy for real youtube channel ekaro ekason ekale no bonjour salama po ina kwana ina ini ya dangana ga look at you nagake kallon wannan video we are here again with yet another video showcasing to you all of the stuffs happening surrounding pi network and right here without wasting much time i would like to show you some of these very particular um details or data to help you understand to what is really ongoing right now so i will go away ahead and make a search of pi right now in the uh <clears throat> coin market cap app you can see it right here this is one of the app that is really trending here which is ten which tends to have uh, a little bit um, resemblance with the pi network um coin so let's tap on pi network and let's wait for it to boot and here we have the coin market cap giving us some of the details right here there they went on to say there have been reports questioning the legitimacy of pi network please note that mainnet has not launched yet and the price displayed below for certain exchanges reflects the value of the ious and it may not be transferable across exchanges so if you want to read more you have to tap on this button and they went on to tell us do your own research that is d-y-o-r okay do your own research so right here just like they told us uh, the price in here uh, uh they would they, they told us right here right um they say okay uh the, the five minute okay now they said the price displayed below which is right here right which is what we can see right here below for certain exchanges reflect the value of the ious and may not be transferable across the exchanges so right here you can see some of this back then i think since 2019 when pi network was listed on the coin market cap there has been no if not 2019 2020 yeah 2019 i guess yeah so since then there has been no update like this uh when you check on the coin market cap so right here you can see uh this is the lowest that it actually went they say low which is at 10.85 dollar okay the high which it rose up to is 66.86 dollar right 66 uh approximately like 67 dollar so what am i really saying right here um they say this must this may not be legitimate right so let's go on to check on some data so right down here you can see uh pi to usd chart this is the chart right here as you can see um uh, this is the chart that actually generated all the way um from this very particular bottom it rose up to the 66 point something dollar which we all saw right there at the top right and 60 uh <clears throat> so right here let's check on some of this stuff that we have under this very particular details that we have here display on pi chain mall sorry i mean on coin market cap so you see just at the time of we making this video we can see that it's rising up this is now 74.17 dollar it's still rising up uh, as you can see right there so let's check into the market and see what we have so looking at the part of both the DEX and the uh, the SEX, which is the centralized exchanges and also the decentralized exchanges, we can see um, they are all virtually having from Pi to USDTPS. That's what they are actually using. Now on Huobi, we can see uh, the pricing right here, which is $68.53. We have it at Bitcoin Exchange as... Um, 64.28 dollar here on xt.com uh hold on guys okay um <clears throat> we have it as 28 uh point 24.81 dollar and on super x right super x is we we have it at 58.93 uh dollar so a ton of exchanges we have even onus uh, who have actually looked into listing it so a ton of exchanges are really still coming up saying they are going to list by but let me first of all tell you exactly what is ongoing i know most of you must have heard some of those things but it's good to really look deep, deeper into it so as to understand what is really going on right here right now 
all right um now i came across this very particular video uh, this very particular post uh, earlier on yesterday which is um actually published by west spencer most of you uh, must have already known west spencer is a pioneer and also a developer if i'm not mistaken or programmer and at the same time he is a fellow fag army so um right here he went on to say um which he actually tagged one of the uh, pie chart moderators he said i agree which is um one from the messages he sent which is i agree with at i hate jam on at pie call him so i just went to at uh, he went to XT exchange just like I showed you the pricing on XT exchange and bought some futures futures pie to see how these would go so the listings we have on exchanges are uh, are nothing but uh futures but let me first of all uh deep dive in dive deep into this to help you digest what is going on because um Spencer where Spencer actually um did justice in, in to this uh, for us to really know what is really going on so he brought some futures pie that is on uh, xt exchange and here is a trade on what i learned so beware pioneers okay which is pi network okay uh now i hit jam actually tweeted about 22 hours at the time of me making this video and he stated out uh boldly here he said pi is in the enclosed network stage and it's not listed on any exchange right now. Any unauthorized listing cannot be operating on Repi. Thus, refrain from participation to avoid being scammed. He actually tagged at PyCore theme official Twitter handle, hashtag Pi Network. Now, uh, Wes Spencer agrees with him. And of course, this has been going on really rampant. Now, uh, about 12 hours later, um, Wes Spencer also tweeted out the second tweet, which he went on to say, um, right here, he said, so it was no issue funding in some USDT to buy some pie, which is on exchanges. The market, <clears throat> the market is at this time about 35 USD dollar. Okay. 35 dollar. Now, pie, that is, that doesn't mean <clears throat> that the accepted price of pie uh, which is um between you know and that's just the futures price okay that doesn't mean that the price of this is actually the price of pi but that's just the futures price as you can see from the exchanges i showed to you uh earlier on they all have their own pricing of this pi um futures <clears throat> token so here they say um that's just a futures price but do i now own the pi i bought no not really okay it's because he bought in some pie right uh <clears throat> does it mean that he actually owns the pie he has actually put the money into now the third part of this very particular tweet that he did here is a here is the transaction of my newly minted which is the pie which is 99 pie so i did actually buy something so uh, buying he actually bought something but look at the next screenshot in trade <clears throat> that he actually did so this is a screenshot right here okay this is the screenshot right here let me zoom this a bit all right so here we go he actually bought this at 34.6 uh, which is executed 0 0.13 and the fee is actually 0 0.00026 pi right and he, <clears throat> right here you have 34. Point uh, 29 which is the pricing and executed 0 0.87 fee is actually 0 0.00174 pi right which he actually uh, purchased right here so um the other number you can see it's actually reading here so um the, it is actually being filled with total of 34 um 34 uh pi so let's look into the next part, which he is trying to uh, make us understand right here. So those are the purchases which he has done, as you can see right here. So on the fourth part of this very particular uh, tweet, which is done by Wes Spencer, he said, see how I can't deposit or withdraw pi? That's because this is futures trading. IOS, okay? IOUS. You are not buying repi. 
don't be fooled. You, you do need to trust that XT will deliver on their promises here. Why would anyone trust an exchange in this post? FTX World, all right, is actually um, giving some instances to what has happened of recent in the crypto world. How X FTX, uh, you know, um, you know, crashed and a ton of people lost their money. All right, so it's calling on our attention to really uh, focus and know what is truly going on. So you can see uh, the pricing here, which is seventeen point thirty five dollar, and right below here again which is the fifth part of his tweet he went on to say so here is the here here is the deal you can buy on unauthorized pie futures it isn't real pie so you are not buying the real pie guys you are not buying the real pie if you participate in any of this the real pie are right there in our mobile apps the ones we are mining for free at this stage which is the enclosed network phase as you already know you uh, you can't buy pi with re uh money with money you know pay fiat or maybe even with exchange re pi to any cryptocurrency so how come these exchanges are able to exchange um you know your usdt to uh the pi they claim that they are actually dishing out so it is more pi on a promise from an exchange okay if you are buying what they are giving you out as an uh as uh, you know you, what you can exchange with USDT. They are only promising you that um, they are going to deliver, give you the repay maybe later in the future. So buy on a promise from an exchange. Osh. And no, I don't believe that uh, that will you know dictate what the market price will be in the future either. So you are buying this pie uh, at the price which these exchanges are giving out. West Pesa is trying to tell us that. This price doesn't really tell uh, that when the repay uh, launches is going to be as low as that or even as high as that. So we need to really understand that the promise being given out by these exchanges, um, are they going to really deliver that? You know, what happened to FTX? Uh, you know, will they be able to really dish out this, uh, fulfill this, their promises to the futures which you are buying? So let's go on here. He said, it's it's too small and uh, too new to be accurately reflective. Of course, of course, Pi is here to launch. So how come they are getting all of those, um, you know, pricing and the trading stuffs going on in there? Pi is really, really scarce. So would they be able to deliver by, you know, you being in profit when Pi really goes live? in the open main network phase. So here is the sixth part of it, which is the conclusion. West Spencer went on to say, this all feels really shady, but XT and Huobi, I can only conclude uh, they are doing this to aim on the margins of the trade and are taking advantage of buyers. Please don't fall for this. So this is actually uh, by West Spencer. And it's really very accurate in the sense that he, he he tried to be as transparent as possible, giving us all of the details here. So we need to know what is going on. We need to wake up. The, this, in, in turn, you know, boils down to what? Giving us the view that the pie coins you are mining are really very, very important. This is the future, guys. You need to know that what you are holding is of high value. And that is why at this stage, we have different exchanges trying to come in, trying to, you know, get some of their, uh, you know, their wasted, uh, let's say, oh, well, not really wasted, but the, 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 the past which they have actually missed on getting these pie coins. They are trying as much as they can to let us know that this is really tangible and they want what we have. OK, if they don't want what we have, they won't be going on to be listing, you know, shadows of pi in, you know, exchange for USDT. So, guys, uh, some of these exchanges have even put in on some prizes in terms of exchange competition, uh, trade competitions, five thousand dollar. OK, so let's go on to show you some of this stuff that we still have here. So um, this really uh, column on my attention. OK, this is a tweet by um, the publication by Pi Network update, which is at Jamila underscore go. Now she went on to say, last week 
only average of 70 to 90 people were mining every day, which is under her, right? Now, today, due to the public noise, noise listing of pi from exchanges like Wobi, CoinMarketCap, and XT suddenly became over a hundred pioneers that mine their pie that is under her. <laughs> so it's exclusive. Uh, it's mind blowing. People, uh, she went on to say, Welcome back to the Pi Network uh, crypto space. Happy New Year, pioneers. And here is the uh, picture she accompanied with this, which is on the home screen, showing a proof of what she claims, right? This is it right here. Just like you can see right here really indicating that yes of course over a hundred people are mining and coming back and she's getting 2.82 pi per hour so this is great this is interesting now i would want to pass down a really good message to all my wonderful subscribers and viewers at this very particular juncture you need to understand that for sure at this stage you need to be serious with your mining um you know, session, start up a new mining session as soon as one elapses, okay, by smashing on the light in the network. And you need to know that you just have to do what you have to do. You don't have to wait until maybe a uh, pie is in the main net before you become serious in mining. At that time, it will be very difficult for you to get some of the pie you can easily mine right now. So I, I encourage each and every uh, one watching up to this point that you need to focus you need to be laser focused focus more on how to get more pie how you can mine more pie at this stage not looking for where to exchange your pie or, or where to convert your pie or what to buy with your pie in my opinion okay it is the time for you to concentrate and accumulate as much as you can before the mainnet because when mainnet comes a bunch of people are going to turn, tune in now i tell you that i believe that millions of people are uh, from you know from three days back that we have been having this pie listing saga up to um you know maybe uh third week of january we are going to be seeing a massive number of new newly registered members in pie network and that in turns we you know make the mining more difficult even in the coming months so guys i urge each and every one of you if you are here and you are mining pi coins just know that you are here on time and you should leverage on this and take advantage by the way this is that for this very particular video i will see you in the next video and i say bye for now